Hey guys, so the question that we have been given today is uh, for the spin half state SX plus evaluate both sides of the inequality uh, 1.146 that is here delta A squares mean times delta B squares mean is greater than or equal to 1 by 4 commutator of AB is mean squared. Now for the operators A is equal to SX and B is equal to SX we have to show that the inequality is satisfied. And we have to repeat the exercise for the operator A is equal to SZ and B is equal to SY. So we know that the state SZ plus can be written as 0, 1 and the state SZ minus can be written as 1, 0. Actually, for convenience, let's just take this state as 1, 0 since it's up and this as 0, 1 since it's down. Now we can write the x state sx plus in terms of sz plus and sz minus. So sx plus is 1 by root 2 sz plus plus uh, 1 by root 2 sz minus. So if we write sx plus in matrix representation we get 1 by root 2 1 0 plus 1 by root 2 0 1 which is just 1 by root 2 1 1. So if we now take the a operator as sx operator and the b operator as sy operator Let's see what we get. Oh, firstly, uh, the SX operator is written as h bar by 2, 0, 1, 1, 0. And uh, the SY operator is written as i h bar by 2, 0, minus 1, 1, and 0. Uh, you can also write SY as h bar by 2, 0, minus i, i, 0. So what I wanted to emphasize here is that this, these are just the poly matrices in the x and y direction. And uh, we also have uh, this formula which we will be using is that delta A squared is the mean of A squared uh, minus the mean of A squared. So let's operate A on uh, Sx plus first. So A was just SX operator. So we have H bar by 2, 0, 1, 1, 0. And here we have the state 1, 1 and there was a 1 by root 2. So what do we get here? We get H bar by 2 root 2 times uh, 1 and uh, 1. Alright, so this is what we get when we operate A operator on SX plus state. Now let's operate uh, the A operator again. So what do we get? We get A square SX plus and we'll get H bar by 2 times uh, H bar by 2 times 0 1 1 0 and H bar by 2 root 2 1 1. So again we'll get uh, H bar square. Oh, sorry. So we'll get h bar. So we'll get h bar square by 4 root 2 times 1 times 1. Alright. h bar square by 4 root 2, 1, 1. So if we calculate the average or the expectation value not the average uh, so we get sx plus a squared sx plus so we know this value which is just this value here and uh, we'll put the con uh, the Hermitian conjugate of sx plus state which is 1 1 
and here we have s bar square by 4 root 2 1 1 so here we get s bar square by 8 times 2 which is s bar square by 4 so we are getting the expectation value of a square as s bar square by 4 All right. Now if we calculate the expectation value of A which is again just Sx plus A Sx plus we get 1 by root 2 1 1 s bar by 2 root 2 1 1 which is just h bar by 4 times 2 which is h bar by 2 now if we calculate delta a square we have the expectation value of a square and the square of the expectation value of a so we have h bar square by 4 minus h bar by 2 square which is 0 so the product of delta a square and delta b square would be 0 provided that delta b we know that is a finite quantity so the inequality uh, we have to check for the right hand side also so for the right hand side we had been given a commutator of a comma b which here would be just sx commute uh, comma sy is commutator and we know that this is i h bar s z so if we calculate the expectation value here So we have commutator of a b which is just i h bar uh, expectation value of s z. So this quantity is just s x plus s z s x minus plus. So let's calculate this quantity we have i h bar. One by root two squared one one h bar by two one zero zero minus one and one one. So we are getting I h bar square by four one one and uh, 1 and minus 1 so this will fetch us 0 if you multiply these two matrices you'll get 0 so we can see that the here the LHS is coming equal to the RHS and since the inequality you can see the inequality was we got this value as 0 and we are getting this value as a 0 and since there's an equal sign here, the inequality for the first case that A is equal to Sx and B is equal to Sy is satisfied. Now let us calculate. Now let us calculate for the second condition that we had been given. So the second condition was that, oops. So. Now let us calculate for the second condition. The second condition was given to us was that when A operator is S Z and B operator is S Y. So if that's the case, 
we can find the expectation value of a which is 1 by root 2 1 1 h bar by 2 1 0 0 minus 1 and 1 by root 2 1 1 so if we calculate this we get h bar by 4 1 1 and this matrix we'll get 1 minus 1 so this again results in 0 and now if we again calculate the expectation value of a square we get 1 by root 2 1 1 h bar by 2 1 0 0 minus 1 h bar by 2 1 0 0 minus 1 1 by root 2 1 so this we'll get h bar square by 8 1 1 1 0 0 minus 1 times 1 minus 1 so these two matrices again will make this matrix 1 1 so we get s bar square by 8 1 1 and we'll get 1 1 here so we get s bar square by 8 times 2 and we'll get the value s bar square by 4 so we can calculate delta a square which is the expectation value of a square minus the expectation value of a squared which is h bar square by 4 minus 0 so we get this to be h bar square by 4 now again in this case we have to calculate the expectation value of b and b squared so we can find delta b so let's start with the expectation value of b now b in this case was sy so we'll write the expectation value of b as 1 by root 2 1 1 i h bar by 2 0 minus 1 1 0 1 by root 2 1 1 i hope this is clear this is just i have written since we have to find its expectation in the sx state sx plus state it's just sx plus sy since b is just sy operator and sx plus right i hope this is clear so we get i h bar by 4 1 1 and minus 1 1 so these two matrices will just give us 0 again for the expectation value of b square we have 1 by root 2 1 1 i h bar by 2 0 minus 1 1 0 i h bar by 2 0 minus 1 1 0 1 by root 2 1 1 so let's calculate this so we get h bar square by 8 and there would be a minus sign here because of i squared and we get the matrices 1 1 0 minus 1 1 0 and minus 1 1 so here we'll get h bar square by 8 will be 1 1 this will just give us minus 1 minus 1 and if we do the multiplication here we'll get minus h bar square by 8 times minus 2 which is just h bar square by 4 so here delta b square would be b squared minus mean of b squared uh, expectation value of b squared so this will be just h bar square by 4 hence we get delta a squared times 
delta b squared as h bar square by 4 times h bar square by 4 which is h bar square 16 now if we have to get uh, since we have to calculate the commutator we again know that a since we have a b is commutator and this is nothing but s z comma s y this is just minus i h bar s x since uh, since we know that s y s z is just i h bar s x we just have turned the sign and written this all right so the expectation value of the commutator here would be minus i h bar s x and uh, the expectation value of s x right so let's calculate this we get minus i h bar 1 by root 2 1 1 h bar by 2 0 1 1 0 1 by root 2 1 1 so let's calculate this we get minus i h bar square by 4 times 1 1 1 1 so we get minus i h bar square by 4 times 2 which will just give us minus i h bar square by 2 so now let's calculate 1 by 4 the commutator of a b's expectation value squared so we get 1 uh, by 4 and uh, here we'll get minus i h bar square by 2 times i h bar square by 2 right and uh, this we'll get as 1 by 4 times h bar to the power 4 by 4 which is h bar to the power 4 by 16 have I done it correctly yes I have all right so the inequality that we get is delta a squared delta b squared which is just h bar square by 16 that we calculated previously is equal to 1 by 4 the expectation value of a and b's commutator squared so here also the inequality is satisfied and we have proved it